Next up, we're going to have uh, Subashini uh, from the Bauhaus Universitat in Weimar. She's going to talk about the work with her colleagues on floor plan extraction. Uh, my name is Subashini from the Bauhaus University Weimar. So yeah, today I'm here to talk something interesting on indoor maps and data. And uh, the topic is floor plan extraction from digital building models. So yeah, let's jump right in. And uh, when we imagine about outdoors and navigation, we are all aware like we have Google Maps, OpenStreetMaps, Bing Maps. You have your start, you have your destination, and uh, these maps can easily navigate you to your point of interest. So imagine once you've reached the, the inside, uh, the, your point of destination and you're inside the building. So there's hardly any data which is uh, helping you navigate around interior of the building. So when we came here the first day, there were so many people out there helping us uh, to find our way around, like uh, where are the auditoriums and where are the rooms, which way we should go and so on. So, but uh, if there's no one to help you out and you're visiting a place for the first time, uh, you could imagine yourself standing in front of one of these maps and trying to figure your way out where, where the rooms are and so on. This is okay when it comes to a small building, but imagine like a complex structure, maybe uh, an airport or some malls and so on, and you're trying to figure your way out standing in front of these maps. Sometimes it's not only time consuming, but it's also frustrating for us to find way like this. So uh, the takeaway here is there's so much uh, data for outdoor navigation. So it's time for us to shift our focus towards indoor and enrich the indoor model uh, so that we can have a better indoor navigation. So uh, this is a project level out. So in this project, we are trying to extract uh, flow plans from uh, digital building models. So uh, these building models are nothing but like uh, in the construction industry, uh, when a building is going to be constructed or it's going to be renovated, uh, they have like a digital model of the building where everything which is going to be constructed is modeled. For example, even you can say there's uh, information on where are the plug points, where are the power lines running inside the building, and so on. So um, in our project, we are trying to extract the flow plans from uh, these uh, models and uh, populate uh, indoor data in uh, three target formats, which is the OpenStreetMaps, uh, CityGML, and the IndoGML. So basically what we're doing is we are just going to develop a platform. You can give your uh, digital building model as an input and it will convert automatically to these three target formats, the flow plans. Um, so uh, yeah, everyone here is aware of OSM. Uh, so we are trying to use the simple Indo tagging and the simple 3D building schema. And the other two formats, uh, which is CityGML and IndoGML, uh, they are developed under the part of OGC, which is actually a standards organization, especially for uh, the geodata and the geospatial domain. So uh, CityGML has been out there for like a long time now, and it is actually used for storing and exchanging 3D city models. And uh, this IndoGML came into picture, um, it's like a recently developed standard, uh, when there was more emphasis on you know, spatially modeling indoors and um, uh, navigation interior, so this, more, uh, this standard came into picture then, and its main focus is uh, location-based services, but inside the buildings, not outdoors. Um, yeah, this is a general workflow of a project. Uh, so I already mentioned these uh, digital building models are quite detailed. So someone who's uh, trying to focus only on navigation or things like that, don't need to know where the power lines are running inside the building and so on. So what we do is we just extract whatever relevant entities we have from the digital building models, uh, which is which comes in the ISC format, which is uh, industry foundation classes. And uh, for example, like we extract relevant entities like room spaces, stairs, corridors, and these, and we map it to an intermediate model. And from this intermediate model, automatic uh, conversion will take place to all the three target formats. So as test data, we are using a public administration center, which is uh, under construction right now. This building is under construction right now in the city of Dresden. And uh, we are using this data, uh, we have the digital model of this building and we're using this, uh, this data to test our uh, uh, platform. So yeah, in summary, what we're trying to do is we are trying to enrich into data so that uh, people can easily navigate inside the buildings as well, like they do outdoors. And uh, we can also extend this for broader applications like autonomous navigation inside the buildings and so forth. Uh, so yeah, the main thing is we have to shift our focus more towards indoor as well now, right now. That's what we are trying to do in our project. 
So in case you need more information on the project, you can always contact us. And thank you so much.